as health and fitness professionals, we need to love people, we need to care for people, we need to listen to people. How do you listen? Shut up. Shut up inside your head, right? How do you do that? So what I'm going to say to you now is uh, it's so profound. Who here's got a mind? Just put your hand up if you've got a mind. Okay. Everyone got a mind? What's your, what does your mind do? What's the purpose of a mind? By the way, if you ask people where their mind is, point to your mind. Point to it. I know some of you are pointing at your trousers. <laughs> but you see, the reason I said that is because I could feel what someone was thinking. Isn't that weird? I knew there's a few in you guys. I know what my mind is. Uh, but actually, some people go here. We don't really know where the mind is. In fact, many uh, Japanese people will go, them, they'll do this. Point to your mind. It's, as if the mind is here, it's a, a connection to something else. But we've all got one, right? So what does your mind do? Well, for me, I think the mind is a channel. It's an amazing channel. And if you put your mind somewhere, you can do great things, right? The mind can create things, can't it? How many things in your life have you created? How many? Loads. You've created it. But what else does your mind do? It creates rubbish. It creates fear, worry, doubt. You have to be so careful with your mind of where you choose to put it. Because the mind is a channel. If you're not careful, your mind will do one of the things it's put. Anyone here ever played that stupid game before? It's called golf. Put your hand up if you've ever played golf. What a stupid game. I mean, I love it. I was completely hooked, right? But often I'll be standing here, and there'll be people behind me on the first tee, and I'll be going, oh, God, they're all looking at me. And I'll be going, I don't want to go over there because I went there last time, and that's out of bounds. I want to go over here, but oh my God, I, I just, just hit this. I just hope it's going to go, oh, it's going over there. Why? Because my mind is doing something. Have you ever been walking down the street and you think someone's behind you and there's no one there? Have you ever been at home and your partners or your kids have been out and you've been over and over and over and over and over and over stuff inside your head? Yeah? There was a song in the 90s by, they were called, I can't remember the name of the group, but the song was called Illusion. Never let your feelings get you down. Open up your eyes and look around. It's just an illusion. Da, da. Anyone know that song? You just got to open up your eyes and realize most of what we're creating is an illusion. You know, as a, was it Einstein said, reality doesn't exist in the outside world. It exists in here, right? That's the reality that you're creating. Your mind plays tricks on you. How many tricks has your mind already played on you? This morning, thinking things. How do you conquer your mind? It's so simple you won't do it. But some of you will, and you'll smack me in the face next year and go, I did it. How did you do it? You've got to find humor in what you think. If you can't find humor in what you're thinking, you are victimized by what you're thinking. Have you ever laughed at yourself and gone, ha, 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 I am ridiculous. The stuff that goes on in here. <laughs> I dare you to start doing that. Just burst out like you can, you can be in a conversation with someone and realize that you're not listening to them because you're thinking about something else and go, ha, 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 ha. Sorry. You could be lying in bed. You want to go to sleep. You can't because your mind's working overtime. Why? Because your mind's playing a trick on you. So the next time you're doing that and you're going over and over, just go, ha, 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 ha. Sorry if you're with someone else. If you can't find humor in what you're thinking, if you can't see the lighter side of yourself, you're a victim. And let's face it, we live in a world where most of us are being victimized enough as it is to, th to, to live and thrive and survive and pay our taxes and be successful. It's difficult enough, isn't it? You want to make it doubly difficult? How many of you are up for the challenge to start laughing your head off at what you think? Because I'd love to see what happens. You just say, that's what I'm going to start doing. It's going to probably, probably be one of the biggest challenges you'll ever face in your life because you start realizing, oh my God, I don't think a lot of nonsense. But then you can go, ha, 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 